litter boxes and their maintenance happens to be a passion with me. Um, as far as how I clean the litter boxes, I pretty much copied that right off of a website that um, I have referenced to on my website, www.catinfo.org. I swear by this method and uh, simplicity is best as far as I'm concerned. Lids on litter boxes are a pain in the butt. I've tried all of the electric, uh, many of the electric litter boxes, the litter maid, litter robot, the never touch litter again is a lot of bunk. You end up scraping it off the combs, you end up peeling it off the sides. I don't know, many things. Anyway, the best litter boxes, I've, I'm still in the hunt for the perfect litter box. Now this is one of the closest to the perfect litter box. It's a storage box, which I cut a hole in, and it's uh, 24 inches long and about 16 inches wide. It's the only litter box I have that's really tall enough. I have two, two cats, my male and one of my females, which easily can pee over the sides. Uh, the fatal flaw with this box is the door in the event of poor aim. I do have to consider kittens, uh, however, you'd be surprised at how high of a side little kittens can get over, but we still do have to consider that. But anyway, well, on with the tour. Here we've got a uh, storage box. Every litter box station has the same equipment. We have a can with a litter liner inside of it. I tried grocery. <laughs> we are going to get a demo here. I've tried grocery bags, paper bags, um, trailing litter all over the house with holes in the bottom. So I just buy baggies. Every station has its own little kit. In this kit, we have a scoop, broom, spray bottle. Basically, it's just water with a little bit of dish detergent in it. Paper towels. Every station. Litter mat. Okay, let's go look at some of the other litter boxes. This is the laundry room. This is basically litter box central. Now, as far as commercial litter boxes go, this is these boxes found at Petco, and I'm not sure who it's made by, but I finally got two of them. It's one of the better ones on the market. It has a flaw. I've actually designed my own litter box. If I could get it made, I would. The sides are not quite high enough. They're about uh, 10 inches high. They should be 11 to 12 inches high. The front should is uh, one of the higher front boxes I've found so far, but the whole front of it is low. It should just be a small dip in the front. As far as I'm concerned, the front should be no lower than seven inches, and I haven't found one that is that. This is about six inches. This is big enough. It's got good high sides almost all the way around, but not quite high enough. We also have an elevated litter box up here. This is a commercial litter box. Again, made for corners. It happens to fit here. This is not too bad because it's got the higher sides. Uh, quite high enough, but not bad. And it's got the front, of course, which, you know, cats can pee over very easily. This is another storage box litter box that uh, you get at Target for $7. I have quite a few of these. These are great for the kittens. They're a good size for medium, maybe even a large cat. The sides are high enough. I think they're at least a foot high. And I use these for many years. Still using them. I just, uh, I'm just always in the search of perfection. We've got our little litter can with the liner. Over here we've got our little kit with all of the goodies. Okay, here we have another litter box station. This one is used rarely. 
Um, once again, experimenting with different litter boxes. This one is not too bad. It's got the high sides, as you can see. It's a pretty good size. Uh, would not be big enough for a large cat. And it's from the floor up, it's maybe six inches. Still could be a little bit higher. It's not bad. They rarely use this one. But here we have our standard little kit. Which can with the litter box liner. Now here's a litter box made by Van S. This is actually like a how many pieces did this litter box come in? It has uh, two pieces this identical to this that nest inside of each other. It's got a sifter that goes inside of that and then it's got a top on the a hood on the top and a door flap. Huge pain in the butt supposed to make things simple so you never have to touch the litter. I never touch the litter anyway. I don't know what that's all about. But this is um, actually good because although <laughs> Nugget did she peed over the side of this just the other night so the sides could be a little bit higher. But they get over this just fine. You don't need a big dip in the middle here. So if we had the front about this high and then maybe a little bit higher around the other sides. This would probably be very close to the most perfect box. Rubbermaid has come out with a box that's very close to uh, a good box that would meet my design, uh, but the front is a little bit too low, once again. This is clumping litter, by the way. You need litter that clumps good and um, this is probably as dirty as the box ever gets around this house. Scoop it twice, at least twice a day. But it's very convenient if you've got all the tools right at hand. You can scoop as you go and um, you virtually have no odor at all. Shake it all the way down to one end. Set it back down on the floor. Get your scoop. Undermine it. You don't want to break up the urine ball. You're trying to keep the litter clean. This litter, by the way, never gets thrown out. I never have to dump a litter box, ever. Get the little pieces. Now I have several cats to pee against the wall. Going to stick on the side of the wall like this. You knock it off, shake the litter away. This is where the paper towels come in handy. Keep the sides of your boxes nice and clean. Couldn't believe some of the boxes that I've seen where you see crud all over the sides. You should never have any crud on the sides of the boxes ever ever. box never needs to be dumped. Litter lasts forever. You keep the litter deep. If it's sticking on the bottom of the pan, the litter is not deep enough. You add the litter back. Um, refill is necessary to keep the litter somewhere around four to five inches deep. Everything done, put all your tools away, you get your can with a nice little liner in it. Tie it up. By the way, I just found these little bags. Made by Arm and Hammer. A nice little roll, you just leave the little roll in the bottom of the, the bottom of the um, Fresh can. Open it up. Out it goes. Throughout the day, I'll fill this up as I scoop. Usually, bottom line for me is to scoop twice a day and sometimes spot scoop. It's a particularly smelly deposit or whatever. Okay, there we have it.